right out of the box Red Cat Everest Gen 7 Pro brand new truck like a lot of brand new just released been waiting for this truck for a while pretty wild looking A lot of super sharp details. Um, I already got the axle supports on the back and front. Uh, steel plates. Right here, your steel skid plates. Uh, stamp steel. Pretty stout feeling for an RC car. Beadlock wheels. IROC tires. Stamp red cap bumper. Pretty cool looking. Plastic, but. Little D-rings, looks like they're actually removable. A ball <laughs> on the bumper. Pretty cool. Red cat license plate. A lot of uh need little accessories on top with the two fuel tanks. Um, the high lift jack, usable spare tire. Cool looking little mirrors, snorkel kit, yeah, of course the front bumper, looks like, well, I thought maybe it was winch accessible but it's not, well, that may be a cutout, but little D-rings on the front, big push bumper, metal tie rods, drag link, Aluminum shocks. This little truck is actually pretty heavy uh, for a 10th scale. Cool little mirrors. A shovel and an axe. And then tread plates. Uh, looks like the light bar is actually set up. Obviously no lights in it, but it's there. Cool little rack on top. Got some other accessible points for more uh, scale looking toys and the frame is a stamped uh, formed frame steel links uh, steel dry shaft ends but plastic pretty usual With lock diffs, love the IROC wheels or tires. All right, comes with a little prop to hold it up. The body detailed inside, a roll cage, pretty cool looking. Uh, got quite a bit of metal underneath of it. Uh, inner fender flares. Flex electronics in it. Very cool looking. I uh, got the battery charging. Probably gonna run it on the factory batteries right off the rip and just see how it does. A little place under the top of the body to actually store your body prop. Running boards on it. Uh, again with the open spur gear though. All women mount on a transfer case. Looks pretty well like the standard red cap transfer case. So very dependable. I have a regular Everest 10 and I have beat to death out of it and finally I've actually got the spur gear uh, getting a little bit wore out. It's not not broke, it still works. But this is the black one. 
they got a black and a green, a very short metallic green. Mm. Can't wait to see how good it does. But a little bit of an overview. Um, little mirrors on it. Very cool scale truck for a very good price. Uh, ready to run. Uh, the radio, a little bit rinky dink, but uh, very light feeling. No batteries in it, of course, yet, but it does have a charging port, looks to be. Um, other than that, we'll see how it goes. I may have to. Uh, just put a different battery in it. Actually bought two of these, got a heck of a deal. Um, a gentleman from No Problems Computer and Hobby uh, made me a good deal on two of them, so I'll be doing the green one as well. Uh, eventually we'll get it opened up and get it on the road too, or in the field at least. <laughs> uh, hope you enjoy and Hope you enjoy RCs. They are great. Nothing better than flipping something and not having to spend a thousand dollars to fix it. <laughs>